Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Muriel, and I am here with my Christmas in July series, tag number five. So I have moved on to working with some of the product in the Merry Days collection. I still do have snow and cocoa to show, but I thought I would kind of switch up to give you a different look, color, kind of vision. So what I created are some shaker tags. Um, they're, they're initially ornaments, right? Where I, I'll show you how, how they came to be, but, um, they were made to be ornaments, but I am in the tag making season right now. So that's what I did with mine. So my friend is a demonstrator over at Close to My Heart, and they sell these chipboard ornaments. You can see some look like, um... Um, ornaments and then this one looks like a oh I don't know but they're different shaped so last year when we were at the crop together I bought this I bought the um, the die set which cuts out the circles it also comes with the foam to mount them the whole thing that involves creating a shaker so I knew I wanted to make some tags out of them which is what I did using the Merry Days collection so here's the first one here. You can see on the back, this one is shaped like an ornament. And basically, I just use lots of the chipboard. I use the paper in the background to make the shaker with. Um, the chipboard piece here, holiday wishes, and that um, bell. And I created a shaker mix that I thought blended well. Um, I put the outside of the ornament, of the, sh of the uh, tag, in some red... Um, sparkle paper and I, you can see I kind of changed it out throughout the other ones and then just using some of the pieces from the tag set Mary Days has several tag set this is tag set one but they have set two and set three of course I have all of them but I really didn't realize that until the other day I was trying to find something in one of them and I realized that they were sets one two and three so, I popped out the letters for, for the uh, tag here. It says peace using the star, the glitter star, and then one of the puppy stickers of Santa, and then just some red twine. So, that one looks like that. My second one, same thing, another tag. I use one of the puppy stickers. That's a nice little uh, pine leaf. And then this cute heart here is from another stamp set. I really like that heart. And then you can see I use uh, gold glitter around the top of this um, tag. And then there is a set of skis, um, an ephemera piece there with some of the shaker goodies. And then I use some pink pom-pom trim to go around the uh, edge of that one there. And then the sticker from the sticker sheet, it just says Merry Christmas. And then using some of that black twine. Okay, this one here has red pom-pom trim, and it does have that chipboard car, and it says holiday wishes on the black tag here. Ho, ho, ho. Again, this is a cute puffy tree on top of a gold glitter star. These are really cute. I should have got more, but I probably won't, so I'll just, just have what I have here in terms of these uh, tags. This one here has a cut apart of a postage stamp and a hat. And then I use the puppy stickers that say Make Merry. And it has gold um, foil around the top of it with pink pom-pom trim. And then there is the infamous red car with the uh, tree on top. Okay, this one here has a scene of a house and then the woman jogging by the word joy on top some glitter um, gold glitter paper here white pom-pom and then the cute little hat these were fun and so cute i need to reach out to her and see what they came out with this year in terms of um for shakers but this was really easy because it was just already cut out for you the acetate and really easy this one here is a chipboard piece, and I have the words, the puppy stickers, Merry Christmas, white pom-pom trim. I use some of the mint green glitter paper here. And then this tag says Jolly with the star and the black twine. 
Then my last one is the car with the packages on top. I use the puffy stickers that say fa la la, white pom pom trim, gold um, trim along the top. And then this one has a reef on top of the gold star with the tag says fa la la. So very fun to make. I really enjoyed making those with the Merry Day collection. And then um, I wanted to show you another project that I worked on. I saw this in a magazine, a scrapbook magazine. Um, it's a wine wrap. And this is a bottle of Prosecco. This is um, one of the brands, uh, Kirkland Signature brands. And basically, I just took the Merry Day paper and wrapped it around the bottle. Now, my paper pad is six by eight, so I had to do it twice. You can kind of see where the seam is right there. Um, <clears throat> and use another layer. There's only one inch of that um, that uh, plaid paper there on both sides. I didn't want this to be so bulky. And then I'm using one of the cut aparts. It says Merry Christmas, the uh, leaf cut apart. And this is from the buttons that are in the uh, Merry Days collection. It says Ho, Ho, Ho. And then a glittered heart. And then the scalloped edge is... From this die this was gifted to me I believe some time ago but it looks like that it cuts out like that and then for the tag I just use a star a ho 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 a snowflake and then a little house and that's all from the um, set the tag sets so that's a beautiful way to gift if you're going to someone's home for the holiday I needed to do this so that this bottle doesn't get opened I am really um, not drinking for, I have, let me see, the last time I had a drink was January last year. So um, I've kind of removed it from the diet. And if I do, it has to be special occasions like weddings and stuff like that. So this was an easy one to do. So it's decorated. I'll go ahead and put it back in the cupboard and then it will go to the home of where we're invited to, uh, hopefully this upcoming Christmas. So that's what I have to share with you guys in terms of my tag. And then really quick, I just want to share with you, I did some online shopping, two of my favorite stores, Urban Gems and KG Crafts. So from Urban Gems, um, Tara o Nurse Tara 04 owns that shop. It's online. There is the website right there, www urbangems.com go check her out she always has the latest and most popular uh scrapbook supplies and i'll show you what i got but i had to show you this this die cut she put on here and i text her and i go i need that die isn't that cute it's like happy mail good wings and i love this bubble paper i kind of keep all the bubble paper that i get from folks and i just rip off that part there <laughs> and hopefully use it again so what i got was she sent me a cute little card right look at this like full of stickers just thank you thank you super awesome smile wonder i picked up a pack of these gold um rose gold dots from the pink and main uh, collection she does have them in silver or pearl and gold okay so i got those and then i picked up some sparklets and these here are definitely for Halloween. They are called Creepy. So it has um, some spiders, some pumpkins, some um, gray gems, and some clear ones. Really cute. This is called Christmas Carnival. And there are some green ones and light green ones and clear ones and really, really pretty. And then this one is called Frosty Friends, and that is because there is a snowman in here with some red and green and clear gems as well. These, again, are oh, so hot sparklets. Okay, so those three. And then she sent, gave me this sticker. Let's see here. By Stickos, and you can kind of see lots of flowers really cute be cute for cards i like putting stuff like this on outside of envelopes okay so that was from urbangems.com her name is tara go pop over and tell her i sent you 
And then from my girl over on KG Crafts, love her. She also does Instagram sales as well as um, on her website, which is kgcrafts.com. Okay. And she always puts one of these because she told her husband to make sure these are included on all invoices. <laughs> So nice, so cool. So what I did was ordered me some Halloween stuff. Um, this is magical and mischievous. So this is a ephemera pack. I'm not familiar with this company or this person, but andreabethke.com backslash the fairy tale club. But really cute. There is no green in here, as you can see. There's lots of orange. There's a teal, light blue, purple, pink, really different colors for Halloween. And that's what I was looking for because I have lots of the traditional. So I'll just go through really quick the cute little pages of uh, paper. And this pattern paper, it's really heavy. You can tell by the sound of it. So this page here is um, lots of pretty cut aparts. And on the back, it's called, it's um, those like melted candy corns, I guess. I don't know what those are. This is a beautiful sheet. I don't even want to cut into that. And then there are some more cut aparts. I love that. Spooky. Happy Halloween. And different shapes. Some labels, tags. Then you have this sheet if you want to do a calendar, which is adorable. This is called Hello October. And then you have those beautiful hearts. And then this one here is called Wicked But Sweet. I don't know why. It's just a bunch of scallops. And then you have the scary owl with the hat on his head. This beautiful spooky spells spider web. And then the opposite side has these pattern of like small flowers. Then you have um, the cat page. And then on the opposite side, that pattern. This pattern is adorable. Cute little witch on a half moon. And you can see the moon, half moon is smiling. Really, really pretty. Magical and mischievous. And then you have that blue scars, blue sky with black stars. And then this one here is called Lovely Luna. And the opposite side has that pattern. And then last you have the infamous uh, candy bucket of the pumpkin with the candies. It's called I Want Candy, and then that pattern looks like that. So, Christina owns this shop, um, KG Crafts. Again, she does have sales on Instagram, and Instagram you can find her under KG Crafts, but she also has a store, kgcraftsforme.com. So, I encourage you to go over and check her out with a lot of you know, scrapbook stores closing or scrapbook places, especially Tuesday morning, you know, we just have to keep our businesses that are online, especially people that we know and work with, we just have to kind of keep them going and kind of send our money that way so that they're not closed down. So thank you again. Again, you guys, I will be back. I still have more tags. I also have some more of the untraditional projects like the wine wrap. I'm going to be altering some tubes. I'm going to be making some cards. Just a plethora of stuff. And I hope you come back to join me. So thank you again. And until my next video, have a great day. Bye now.